Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Starfield. On the last episode, we met this man, Ve Victus, who is actually not dead. He's alive. He's been held here alive for all of these years. And the, uh, the mission that we're on, the Devils You Know, requires us to learn more things. One of the optional things is something we're going to do, because we talked to uh, Deputy McIntyre. So I would like to do that. Is there anything else down here? This is an interesting room with uh, panels that you can't interact with. And this is a door that can only be entered in from this. Yeah, my, my suspicion is that you can't get into this at all. You probably can't even interact with these. Yeah. Because they don't want you to go in here. This is supposed to be a very menacing, threatening experience of like, oh, this guy's alive. I don't need to go in here. This almost certainly is not worth my time. All right. So let's return to... Um, Identity verified. You may proceed to the exit. Thanks. Hey, Sam. Is this... Are you an elevator? You are a toilet. I guess a toilet is kind of like an elevator. But for your poop, what active what what updated in my activities? I don't know. Uh crap, which one is which? Cabinet is the Deputy McIntyre, I believe. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. I don't have I don't. I don't have time. Yes? Here you are. Hi. Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. <clears throat> That's a good answer. Deputy, I was, uh, I was not prepared for that. Surprised me too when I learned it. But the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years and kept far from any major decision-making. But I do think it's worth re-emphasizing. No one else can know about this, all right? Why hasn't Hadrian been told about this? The Major doesn't have clearance for this sort of information, and she certainly doesn't need a distraction from her current very important work, which is why I need you to keep this to yourself. You can't keep me from telling Hadrian. Short of jailing you? No, you're right. But in this moment, I think it would be a big mistake to tell her. Though I presume he didn't call you down there simply to discuss his daughter. <laughs> I'm gonna be a hitman! The prisoner asked me to deal with a Dr. Orlais. Figured you and I should discuss. Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? <laughs> Are you actually considering this? Allowing you to kill someone on behalf of the prisoner? Absolutely not. But taking the chance to bring a known criminal to justice? Well, the old man's been right more than a few times in the past. So, what's being put on the table here? The location of Hadrian's old research team members. Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? Hmm. I'm supposed to head to... The Den. Anything you can tell me about? The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf. The second star station, actually, to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Hmm. 
What are the chances I'm being lured into a trap? Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake. Satan? But I don't think oh. you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. Didn't have anything else to discuss. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain. And remind you of the importance of discretion. Calling him the man downstairs is probably not <clears throat> that, that bad of a choice. Sam, I know you want to chat. Do your slow jog. Let's 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 converse. We need to find Cora and talk with her. She made it sound like his life or death. Uh, okay. Right now, the second. Where is the next part of this mission? Let's jump. Cora's on the ship. So, technically, hopefully, I'm not going to just wander forward in there. All right, hey, Sam. Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. Hey, Sam. Thanks for grabbing me. Cora wanted something, and I was hoping you could humor her for me. Thank Cora. you for talking to me. Oh, Cora. my God. I got so something what's so important that you need? <laughs> Something's wrong with mom. You just figuring this Woo. out? <laughs> no, she's in trouble. It's been too long since she's written me. Wait, you read each other? Focus. We need to find mom. You believe me, right? How do you know she's in trouble? We were reading the Count of Monte Cristo together, and she hasn't gotten back to me. She's a slow reader, but it's been too long, even for her. She always sends a message when she's finished, but I haven't heard anything. This may be serious. Very serious. Listen, trust me, Lillian Hart is not in trouble. She eradicates trouble. That's her thing. This is not normal. I don't even know where she's stationed, Gumdrop. Dad, <laughs> she's on Neon. I know this is a whopper of a favor to ask, but there will be no end to this until we see Lillian and clear this all up. Um, I have a bad feeling about all this, Sam. Oh. Sam? Uh, yeah, you too. Listen, I will not forget you doing this for me. Cora's just worried. Don't even get me started about the time she thought ghosts were in the reactor core. I was five, Dad. Five. Lillian will be at the Ranger Outpost on Neon. That's Jalen uh, Price's office. So, if she's out, he should be able to help. It should be easy. Of course, he's Lillian. Everything will be back to normal. Advancing matters of the heart will make Sam Co. undismissible. Okay, we will. We will go. We will something? go check with it. It's One of my activities is now talk with Sarah Morgan, also. We will go do that. But, currently, we are on a mission. Oh, God. We're still on this mission, so... Got two markers now. One must be for Sam's... Uh, or Cora's mission. How's oh, room level in this place? It's really never recovered. Oh, ship services. Sorry, from here it was hard to tell. Hi there. Anything I can help you with? No, we're um we're good. We're we're good. Looks like this place has seen better days. Only a matter of time before I get promoted out of here. Marquez is all right, I guess. If she's gonna be lucky to have me as a boss. You seem pretty confident about your abilities as a pilot. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, right. You haven't seen me fly. If you had, you'd know how good I am. I'm sure you're fantastic. Damn right I am. I'd offer to let you fly along on my next mission, but... Uh... Oh, man, I nearly forgot. L listen, I need a favor. 
Oh god, no. I got an application for a promotion in the Vanguard, but I haven't heard anything back. It's been a while. Their reply must have gotten lost along the way. It happens. We're really far from New Atlantis. Anyway, would you mind going there and following up for me? Man, I, I'm I'm kind of busy right now. Maybe some other time? Right, right. Okay. That's no problem. I get it. I'm super busy here, too. If you get some free time, though, check in with me. I'll probably have gotten an answer, so I'd hate for you to travel all the way out there for no reason. I, I guess you still haven't heard about that promotion. Of course not. Otherwise, I'd have been promoted right it's out of It's been five seconds. Are you able to head over to New Atlantis? Follow up on this for me? Sure. Just like that? I'm not going to forget that you're doing this for me. This is just the start of my climb up the ranks. You'll see. Okay, you're going to want to talk to Commander Tuwala. Oh. I'm sure he's aware of me because I've sent him a few messages now. Just bring back whatever message for me so I can get out of here, okay? Really appreciate it. All right, Bastion, I just want you to understand okay, that man. there is a high probability that that will sit in my quest list until I'm dead. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Um, I, actually, I'm, I'm with the Vanguard. Oh, apologies, Captain. Didn't recognize you without the uniform. Oh, shoot, what am I wearing? <laughs> so, what can I do for you? <clears throat> yeah, um, Reginald Orlace. Heard you might know him. Or lace doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? Uh, I don't want to say too much. It's a, actually I don't care. He's a former UC scientist wanted for war crimes. Seriously, out here? Surprised they didn't send out a general notice. He's in town. Though I guess there's less a chance he bolts if they keep it hush. But I expect we would have heard something. Wait, the warlock. There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it, and at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Can't think of a better spot your Orlais might be hiding. Uh, yeah, I'll take those coordinates. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man. Uh, ship and weapons damage the systems at random, possibly stunning enemy engines for boarding. Okay. Noted. So I want to board. This is a neat little place. The Den. Sleep owned owned they're all owned can i have this no why is it stealing i work for these people i should be able to have a thing just I, doesn't add up it's Space fine has <laughs> canuck docking port and inaccessible i don't know there's so many little places like this it's interesting uh let's see i think i have to undock so let's start by undocking, and then we can figure out where it is we are heading. Where is the Warlock? Find the Warlock. Okay, we'll go. It's like just a little hop, skip, and a jump away. Easy. All right, so the Warlock... Oh, there's like stuff here. What the heck? Destroyed Scavenger. Yeah, this is, um... Oh, there is an enemy ship. Oh, it's the Warlock. <laughs> Who could it be? It's the Warlock. I don't have... EM weapons, do I? What the crap is this? Is this like a... A landmine? Strange. I need to be careful. Wanna hear a joke? Uh, sure. Yeah, the timing is perfect. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? Um, I don't know. 
last long and Everybody! Skyscrapers can't jump! <laughs> Down. <laughs> Dad, you want to hear a joke? <laughs> sure. Hey, next time you see Barrett, try it out on him. I'm just going to shoot you. That's my plan. My plan is to just shoot. You don't seem very good at this. I destroyed the ship because um, figuring out how to board it was too difficult. <laughs> like, I knew there was some way, but you had to use, like, EM weapons, and I'm like, I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to take this stuff. Um, rare manufactured component. Wait, was this the guy that was like, don't kill him? Oh, well. Listen, there's only so much I can do. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to not kill him. Right? Like, I got close to the ship, and I didn't get- I didn't get the ability to dock. You know? Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm- I'm gonna have to blow him up. You know? I mean, I try- I didn't want to kill him. Let it be known. Let it be known that I didn't want to kill the guy. But I didn't know how to, like... I didn't- I didn't know how to get on that ship. Is there anything of interest in here? Like, but it doesn't look like it. But I was just curious before we go talk to our uh, war criminal friend. See, that's the part I hate. The war criminal part. Because <laughs> he was like, do this for me. And I was like, I won't do that for you. You're a war criminal. And then I did it. <laughs> I didn't even want to do it. Just didn't have a choice. All right, let me sit. Let me take a sit. I'll just sit down here. <laughs> I need to sit in this chair. Hi, man. Welcome back, Captain. Yeah, hi. Do you have some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's? <laughs> I won't do that for you unless it's the most convenient option. Uh... <laughs> Newsflash, he's dead. Hmm. So he didn't come quietly then, as I suspected. I presume you have evidence of this. Um, what if I told you it all burned up in the explosion? I'd say it'd be a waste of your and Hadrian's time to have to track down the research team on your own. Surely you found something. Yeah, I got his ID. Excellent. Please, deposit it in the transfer system. Please use the transfer system. What is this, a bank? Transfer. Accepted. God, it is a bank. Would you look at that? Kept it all these years. Some simply couldn't let go of that old world. I'm not sitting for this one. This is fine work, Captain. I can ensure the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters. Except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. His name is Kaiser. You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xeno weapon deployments during the war. So I would arm yourself appropriately. Fun. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. Is this Kaiser guy a robot? A military Model A. Yes. Specifically customized for the needs of the Xeno Warfare team during the Colony War. A powerful resource, if you can recover him. Why are you helping us with this? I dedicated my life to the United Colonies. Every effort of my being to their protection. 
I even gave them my heirs. Even if my circumstances have changed, my purpose is not. Thanks for the info. Of course. We're protecting the galaxy, Captain. We'll need every tool at our disposal. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Satan. How do I get out of here? Oh, you know what the other thing is? Because ain't I real close to this? That's here, isn't it? That's, like, that's in the mass district. Where is that? Can I take care of this for this guy? It's upstairs. Alright, I'm here. Against my better judgment. I'm gonna help this guy out. Captain, Admiral Logan informed me of your part in halting the attacks. Whole damn city owes you. Now, what do you need? Bastion Graf wanted me to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Didn't see that one coming. No need to say any more. I know what it's about. He's convinced he deserves a promotion, which to him means a transfer, a command post, maybe a new ship and a big office. Do you know him well? What do you think of him? He comes off as a little arrogant. Not the first time I've heard that. Clearly patience isn't his strong suit. I thought the constant stream of messages was a bit much, but if he's going to be sending people here. All right, I received some good advice from someone in the Vanguard recently, and I'm going to run with it. I'd like you to deliver this message to Bastion on my behalf, the full authority of Vanguard leadership. He's going to be the first and only recipient of a new commendation. Quite an honor. I hope he appreciates it. Please, give him my regards. Okay. Thanks. It's not, uh, <clears throat> it's not super, super important. Uh, so this has actually changed into a new mission. Now this is War Relics. You know what I'm going to do? I, I, I want to, I want to help Sam out. Find out what this is. However, however... Supposedly, and God help me, this mission was patched to work now. Wouldn't it be wonderful if when we arrived in Parima, Abe was there? Crap! They didn't fix it! Abe's not here? God, why did I even... Why did I have an ounce of faith? Why? Why would I... Uh, okay. Why did I believe? Let's go... Let's go to Neon. Let's go to Neon. It was... It was worth the try because it only took a second to check. Ryujin Industries is looking for the young, bright minds of the future. Apply today at the nearest kiosk. Where's... Okay, there's Sam and Korra. Korra walking real slow. Here we go. Free Star Rangers Outpost. Have I been here? Y y yes Yeah, I've talked to you. Welcome back. Listen, feel free to use anything. Wait, is that Sam Co? You have a lot of nerve. Here to yell at Lillian personally? Maybe change things up a little? Listen, this ain't about me. It's about the kid. Um, uh, I didn't see you, Princess. Sorry. So why are you here then? Hmm. Cora hasn't heard from Lillian in a while, so she was worried. I'm sorry. I just can't help you. I'm afraid I cannot disclose that information. You do remember that from your ranger days, Sam? About civilians not being allowed to know sensitive information and all that? It's Cora, right? I just can't say anything. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was gonna I was just thinking, I was like, I'm not a civilian, I'm a ranger. <clears throat> Fortunately for me, I'm not just a civilian. So... 
This is official business. That's right. Sorry. That's different. I haven't heard from Lillian in some time. I know she was working a case, a big one, and was playing it really close to the best. Feel free to search her desk. Maybe there's something there. Sorry, that's all I got. I appreciate the help. Hey, I'm genuinely happy to help you out. Your friend? Not so much. Listen, I've heard a lot of stories about you. If Lily needs an assist, she couldn't ask for anyone better. So good luck. Hopefully, you won't need it. Let's go look in her desk. Or on top. Confidential informant financial disclosure. Ranger Lillian Hart's request for 1306 credits for ongoing investigation has been approved. The credits will be delivered to the confidential informant at Ryujin Apartments number 305 as requested via dead drop with maximum discretion. Okay, so that was easy enough to figure out. Jump jive, then really got to jump jive, then really got to jump jive, then really got to jump jive. Um, when you're done, you just let me know. Oh, we can't talk right now. Oh. When you're... Are you ready to... So what'd you find? <laughs> hey, I gotta climb this. All right. Uh, here, read this. So Lillian was working with a confidential informant. An address of Lillian's confidential informant. What's a confidential informant? Like how we all have to look up at Sam. Someone that works for bad people, but is helping the authorities on the side. Well, looks like we have a lead. No name, but an address works. Shall we? <sighs> Couldn't we mess up her investigation? Well, as long as you don't make too much noise, we should be fine. Neon's always got people coming and going. But... Uh, something's not right here. Not at all. Let's hurry up. All right. I guess we'll pay him a visit. And the field trip continues. Now be careful, Cora. Dad! I didn't know what to make of you Dad, first. get down from there! What is this video game? What is this video game? <laughs> I don't know, man, like... This is just some of the stuff that happens and this is wild. You stay there. Stay. Stay. J Jalen's like, what is going on in here? Were you standing on the furniture again? Down, boy. Alright, let's go, um... Let's find Lillian. This it? This it. Ryujin Apartments. Well, not the best neighborhood. What is happening? Door's locked. Oh, God. Well, yeah. You have to be <laughs> certifiable to leave your door unlocked on Neon. What are you doing? Picking the lock. What? Where the hell did you learn to do that? A book. Oh, and Vladimir. Uh, I told you nothing good will come from those books. I can't believe my little Cora is picking locks. She's something all right. Ain't that the truth. But seriously, dragging her all over creation? Uh, maybe Lillian's right. Well, Neon's a rough town. She's waltzing through it like it's nothing. Cora's going to be amazing when she grows up. You really think so? I mean, I know you said Constellation's good for her. You really think that? Even now? Lock's done. Well, I guess that's our cue. Are the walls made of carpet? Is this the 70s? Jesus. Oh. Cora. Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. Yeah, okay. We'll stay away from uh, this. I mean... I mean it, Cora. 
We'll investigate. Cora. <laughs> That's the CIA. Does that mean mom? Mom's as tough as they come. It does mean whatever she's involved in. Uh, it's not some milk run. <sighs> Sorry. Like, I, I understand that, like, they're writing, they're writing the dialogue and they're giving it to the voice actors and, like, they don't maybe know the scene, but the delivery of, Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. Like, you walk in and there's, like, a pile of blood, a blood trail to, like, a grisly murder. The entire room is filled with blood and Cor's like, Dad, I've seen worse. And I'm like, what are you talking about? What what do you mean you've seen worse? I haven't seen worse. This this is the most grisly thing I have seen in Starfield. What in God's name? Ooh, plushy. This my friend will be. This individual is busy. Are you busy? This individual they're both busy. All right. This is just a lot, man. Oh my god, he died how he lived with bacon. Alright, let's just move this to see if we can see anything under here. Looking for evidence. Doesn't seem to be any evidence under here. Is there any evidence up here? No. Is there any evidence over here? Oh, I, hold on, I dropped this. This guy doesn't have any blood on him, which is surprising. Is there anything up here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright. I don't know. I've searched... I've searched the area the best I can. And, um... I can't find anything. Y'all need something? Wait, what do you need? <laughs> do you want me to take the bacon? I took the bacon. Is there, like, a computer? Oh, here we go. Victor Compound. Managed to bribe a transport pilot who got some footage of Victor Compound. Pilot counted a whole mess of syndicate goons, at least 10 plus. He sold me his ID badge for a thousand credits, wouldn't sign for it, so the rangers will just have to take my word. The rest of the slate contains further details on Victor Compound. The compound is on McClure 2, and it lists the coordinates. There are digital records of a fake ID and details of a cover story to infiltrate the compound. There are no references to Lillian Hart. Okay. Oh, a sandwich. Salami and cheese consume. Oh, that one's swiggling. I, I ate this one and this one started to go. Was this your sandwich? Sorry, I can I can put you back up. I don't want you to miss out on your sandwich. I'm just gonna place you gently over here. I know you liked bacon, so I just there you go. Uh, anything over here? That must be the futuristic washer and dryer. Nothing of value here. Ooh hoo! Grapes! And a pear. That's nice. You mind if I have this? I guess not, because he's dead. Sorry, I just want to see. I just want to see if this will fit. The head. The head is always the hardest part. If you could just fit in there a little bit. Closed door. That really compacted down. I, I really wasn't expecting that to fit as well as it did, but that that fit that fit pretty well, actually. All right. Um, did y'all want to talk about something? It's never dull around you. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Sam watches me shove a body into a freezer. I tell you one thing. Ain't never dull around you. That's true. You want you want chat? Looks like you found it. A slate. What's it say? Shit. Sioka Syndicate. Some Victor Compound. Some... Stuff about fake IDs and cover details. Lillian's doing a deep cover-up on the Syndicate. Hmm. She must be real brave or real stupid. 
See you, Kagar. Deadly. Trust me. Oh, this is getting better and better. Cora, listen to me. This is too dangerous. No! The Syndicate is very real and very deadly. There's no way. No, you listen, Dad. I'm not eight anymore. I know I can't shoot or anything. But she's my mom. I can be a pair of eyes. I know things. I will be useful. Promise. If Mom... And I could have done something about it and didn't... I know that look. Oh, damn it. I know you're not eight anymore, but how old are you? Like 11? It hasn't been that long. That's like the same age. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> I don't suppose I could talk either of you out of this. She's too much of a co to be left behind. Thanks, Dad. All right. Let's go find your mother. Sam Co is now following you. All right. Well, everything here is um fine. Yep. This is, oh. Oh, I was just going to grab the broom. You can't grab the broom. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, I was just going to kind of Anyway, all right, um, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. I think I hear the freezer body. Uh, next episode, um, we're going to continue on this quest to try and find Lillian. Not sure um, exactly where she is, but I'm sure that we'll locate her, and I'm sure everything will be fine, and there won't be any problems, and we won't find any more rooms full of um, blood. Probably. See you next time for more Stephen Plays Starfield.